So with the drop of the Star Wars Squadron's trailer the other day, we got a lot of info about the game and how it works. But today we're going to look at the customization side of things. So let's go straight into it with the stuff off the post. Then we'll talk a little bit about the pre-order bonuses. And we'll move to something I think could be customizable we see in the trailer. And there will be timestamps in the description below. So if you would like to skip to a certain part of the video, be sure to go check those out. Let's get started. So first things first, let's go over a little bit of what the blog post says. So it states here, as players move up the ranks, they'll earn components to modify and enhance their starfighters such as weapons, hulls, engines, and shields. And the important part, which we're going to talk about today, can cosmetic items to customize their cockpits, ship exteriors, flight suits, and helmets, and receive bonuses all unlocked via gameplay in clear progression paths. So what this means is, as we rank up and get more skilled in our ships, then we will get items to reward that skill and show other players that we've put in the time, put in the effort, and we did the stuff right. And Ryan's a little bit of Destiny too, so I really like where this is heading. I think this could be a really good progression path that we as a community could get behind if they play their cards right. So let's see what they decide to do with this one, and let's hope they play out the ranking system right, so that way the system will work really well in this game. Next, let's go over pre-order bonuses. Then we'll head over to some details in the trailer, which may or may not be customization items. Kicking things off, we've got the New Republic Recruit, which is similar to the New Republic Navy Recruit outfit we see Kaz wearing in Star Wars Resistance. And then for the Imperial side, we have the Imperial Ace. Both of these are very nice looking skins, and as stated in the post, we will be able to customize our flight suits. So it makes me wonder, Will this be for just the main characters, or can we do it for all of our squadron? Because how cool would it be to customize a trained ocean? Next, let's talk a little bit about ship customization. For New Republic, it switches from the green color scheme we see in the trailers to the blue color scheme the Resistance is so fond of. And for the Imperials, it changes the red we see in the trailers to the yellow of the Imperial Ace. Last of the pre-order bonuses, we've got decals. We don't know much about how these will play into the game, but if I had to take a guess, I'd say we either get to put them on our ship or get to customize our helmets. You'll have to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's start a discussion on this topic. Last, let's go over something that may or may not be customization. So take this with a grain of salt. So we read earlier, you can customize the inside of your cockpit. So if we zoom in on this shot right here, you can see what I think might be a kill counter because it kind of looks like a ship. Then again, maybe it isn't because there's a droid on one side and what looks to be like missiles on the other side. But wouldn't it be weird to have two sets of missiles? Again, this is guessing and speculation, not fact. Now I don't know about you, but I'd love it to be a kill counter. It'd be nice to have subtle details like that to make the cockpit feel more like your own. Okay guys, that does it. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more Star Wars Squadron videos, then be sure to go press that big red subscribe button. It's free. God bless everyone, and I'll see you around. Colin Show, out.